You could have the best short game on the planet, but if you're topping your tee shots, it's gonna absolutely destroy your game. In this video, we're gonna be talking all about topping your driver. We're gonna, no, we're not gonna talk about it. I'm gonna help you stop it. Now, jump in the comments section below. Is the driver the most important golf club in the bag? for you. I personally believe it is. For me as well, and for my level of golf as, as a professional, I think it's the most important club because you have to get in play. You need to get some decent distance, you need to get the ball and the fairway or the semi-rough or at least have a really good opportunity of a second shot to a green on a par four. It's really, really important. Short game chipping and putting is really important if you've got those tee shots in order. So in this video, we're gonna be identifying a number of key factors that make you top the golf ball. I'm gonna give you a couple of really good drills to stop topping the golf ball and your game will massively improve. As a full-time golf coach, I am available for coaching online. So please do drop me a message. DM me on the Skillist app is always the easiest way. What we can do, we can set up a Zoom consultation. We can chat a little bit more about your game, how I can help you improve it and set a bit of a plan moving forward. If you're coming into the off season, now is the perfect time. Let's embrace the off season. Let's improve your game. Download the Skillist app. The link is in the description below. Drop me a DM and let's go. That rhymed. One of the key things to understand is knowing what your swing path is. If you know you swing it from the inside, or if you swing it from the outside, inside being here relative to target line, outside being here relative to target line, not quite as much as that, then you need to understand where your ball position should be. If you swing it from the inside, so you swing it from an in to out swing path, trying to generate the draw, but you have the ball position too far towards the lead foot, then what happens is the club bottoms out, it gets to its arc, the bottom of its arc towards the middle of the stance. And by the time it gets to the golf ball, it's already started its way up into the follow through and the gut hits the golf ball very, very late. So if you do have an in to out swing path, you want the ball position to be in the inside of your lead heel. It's just the same as if you have an out to in ball position. If you have the ball position too much on the inside of your feet, but you have an out to in path, the golf ball actually needs to be further forward in your stance because you're gonna hit the golf ball later because the bottom of your swing arc happens later in the golf swing where the golf ball needs to be. So you need to be hitting the golf ball further forward in your stance. Obviously, you can look at improving your swing as a whole, but that is one nugget of information that the majority of golfers don't know and really, really should do because it's gonna make an immediate impact on the quality of your tee shots, just stopping, stopping the topping, okay? Now, one of the major things we're gonna be looking at here is the rotation and the use of the upper body during the golf swing. Once we get to the top of the swing here, we don't want the trail knee, hip, foot, and shoulder moving out and away from the golf ball, just like we don't want them moving towards the golf ball in that direction. Okay, I want everything moving towards the target. So I don't want to see that movement and I don't want to see that movement. Okay, we don't want this from the, tra from the trail leg. We want the trail leg driving into the golf ball. So I want to feel that we get to the top of the backswing, drive that trail knee so the lead hip goes over the lead foot. And when we do that, I want you to really feel that you're keeping your hips back, keeping your backside out, staying in posture as you do so. This keeps your height, keeps your chest lower so you can turn through the golf ball. Both of these movements there and there lose posture, we extend posture. Then we have to manipulate with our hands, with our arms, with anything else, with our weight distribution. If we can get this transition correct, driving, the trail knee towards the lead knee, keeping your backside out, and then just focusing on turning, then the, the quality of the ball striking is gonna be so much better. It's gonna be so much more natural for you to get into the bottom of the golf ball. Because don't forget, we want the driver landing, ideally three or four inches before the golf ball without hitting the ground and then working up to the golf ball. So I want you to feel that as you get to the top of the backswing, this trail knee drives into the trail, the lead knee and the trail shoulder 
works downwards. If we can work downwards, not forwards or backwards, we're going to be able to maintain posture. You're going to be able to maintain your height through the golf swing and therefore really stop topping those tee shots. So there, practice that move. Push that tray on knee into the lead knee. Keep your backside out and lower the trail shoulder. There. Because once you get into that position, then you can rotate through the golf ball. Then you can drive through the golf ball. Not only are we going to be able to create more power, we're going to be able to keep the club face straighter throughout the golf swing. We're going to be able to get more straighter tee shots with a bit more distance as well, which is a bonus. But to be honest with you, if you're topping the tee shot, anything into that fairway will do. Distance is not that important. Get, if you have maybe two tops around, we need to get that down to zero as quickly as possible. No topping allowed ever. If you top your irons off the fairway, then it's the same sort of move, the same feeling. Drive the trail knee into the lead knee. Drop this trail shoulder down by sticking your backside out as you do so. Lots of repetitions like this. And then once your arms get to waist height, turn. The only time you can come up to a full extension is into your follow through position. So you get to the top. I'm gonna drive my trail knee into my lead knee. I'm gonna keep my backside out. I'm gonna let my trail shoulder drop down and then I'm gonna turn. That's the best drive I've hit age, in ages. 300 yard hole. Oh, could be just on the green. So feeling that motion there. Lots of repetition, you don't need a golf club. How I'm demonstrating this to you now is how you can work on it at home. Pull your trail arm back and then drive there to there, drive there to there, drive here to here, keeping your backside out at all times. Make sure you can still feel that you've got this tilt in your spine angle as you're doing so. And then you're in position halfway down to not top the golf ball. You get your transition to the halfway point of your downswing better then you can turn with ferocious raw power and get the golf ball with a perfect strike going straight and going longer guys thank you very much for watching hope you've enjoyed the video hit the like hit the subscribe and i'll see you next video too many golfers are so obsessed and you might be one of those as well where you're trying to get loads of height loads of width in your backswing but by doing so you could be losing distance and losing power oh so good are you not getting enough out of your t-shirt should you be hitting the driver further than you already are at the moment in this video i'm going to be giving you one simple backswing tip that can help you get the club into a better position on the takeaway 